Chinese world. The Chinese are extremely sensitive about these nuances in diplomacy. They've been at it for 4,000 years, and the rules were laid down by Kissinger and Nixon when they made the opening, and it was that we would be allies of Taiwan, but we would have to observe certain rules so that we would not be contradicting the notion that we and the Chinese agreed on at the time that Taiwan is part of China. And once you have communications between the president of the U.S. direct with the president of uh, Taiwan, then you are impinging on that. And it wouldn't really matter. I mean, this is politically correct, except for the fact that the Chinese, when they get upset, can do things like take over an island here or there or tear up an agreement or start threatening or do other things that could uh, cause a crisis. So I don't think of this is going to cause one. But when he ascends to office, Trump is going to have to be briefed on stuff like this, particularly in the Middle East, where there's a code language where if you say the wrong word, which is ordinary language, like even-handed, it has a meaning which is not the normal meaning in normal discourse, and it could cause a real diplomatic rupture.